Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to the action figure review of Clone Pilot Goji, right here. It's a pretty cool figure. If you guys watched my last review, you know I got this wave at Toys R Us um, on September 30th. Yes, today's the 30th. And he's pretty cool. Uh, package, it's really neat. It has a picture of the wave, it has a nice picture of him. For, um, and I he is from the episode The Zillow Beast. He was the pilot of the Y Wing that bomb dropped the proton bomb. If you guys were confused on who exactly he was. So, yeah, just give me a second to unbox him and we'll start the review. Alright, well, I just unboxed him. And here he is Clone Pilot Goji, everybody. He is pretty cool. Um, he does come with a Gatling gun, just like the Arc Troopers. Fires a rocket missile. It's pretty cool. And uh, he does come with his, uh, I think it's DC 15. It's one of the DCs. But uh, his blaster. It's pretty cool. Um, his, I'll just take that out to show you. It fits in his hands pretty well. Um, but unlike the Arf Trooper, he does not have uh, ball jointed uh, hips. So, that's one thing that you guys might want to think about. It's not, he's not completely like the ARF Trooper. But, uh, oh, his little thing right here is actually rubber banded to his, uh, chest for some reason. Don't know why. Well, I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, but he does have really, really... He, the, I don't know if you guys have seen the new clones yet, but they've got some. They've got a really good new sculpt. Um, the only down I can think of right now is that it he does not. They don't have the kind of like the ab joint where he can move his upper body. But I, in my opinion, it makes it look so much better, and it's a lot cooler to me. So that's pretty cool. Just rubber, unrubber banded that, so give me a second to take this off. Alright, here he is. Okay. But he does have uh, shoulder joints. Uh, if you guys can remember the last clone, it had that uh, pesky little joint right there, that line right there. For, for the joint. His shoulder pads are completely white. They're completely smooth. They don't have that line. Um, and you can actually point the arm straight down, which is really cool. Um, his shoulders kind of lock into place. That's another thing with this little plate right here. Um, and so do the knees. And it's really cool. And it, it makes him look just so much more like he can stand up straight, you know? So that's pretty cool. His helmet does not come off to reveal his face, because we don't know what his face looks like. But um, the paint job on the helmet is really cool, especially with the eyes and like the teeth and everything. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, it like all the clone pilots, it has that little overlapping thing. It's, it's like as far as the helmet goes, I'd say it's a almost a repaint of Matchstick's helmet. Actually, I take that back because you could take that one off. But, so, I, I guess it's a pretty new sculpt. Um, and it's a really cool figure. Like I said, the DC, I mean, the Gatling gun fits in his hands real well. You guys saw that. And it fired a missile. And his blaster gun fits in his hand. Probably, yeah, uh, like every clone fits in his hand pretty well. It's pretty cool. Um, of course, he comes with his battle game stand, which he fits onto pretty well. Yeah, fits onto it pretty well. Um, he doesn't have ball jointed hips, so only one of his feet can go on to one of the little pegs. But uh, he he stands up pretty f well just on one of those pegs. Um, and another thing is, he comes with his battle game card with a picture from. Uh, the Zillow Beast and his battle game die. Right there. There's the card. 
figured out a new trick how to make it look really good. It's just I use my pocket knife to cleanly cut along there. So, and it makes it look really, really good. You gotta have this. If you got, if I didn't cut it really straight on this one, but if you cut it really good, you can take away those little jagged plastic marks and not have those little torn lines. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, next up will be the Flame Trooper. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys.